Good morning, boys and girls. It's Saturday, the 8th of November, 2014. Look who's with us live today, boys and girls, live in the studio. I was oh. hoping that he had uh, held come, his come breath. Wait, wait, wait. You I'm, don't I'm, have to go I'm, right up to the microphone. These no. are studio quality microphones. Studios. If only you could see a cable Coming tie, to you from a cable studios. tie around, Come round a micro, round a round a videotape on top with a camera on top. I must take a picture and show you. Eh? The, the, the cable well, don't tie. Don't take a picture. Yeah, take, you could do that. You can take a picture and show them if you yeah, want to. Yeah, it's very funny. It's very small in here. Eh? Coming to here. live from Studio Three Z from the Berkshire Middle Bedroom Television Studios Middle bedroom. here in Royal Berkshire Middle in bedroom. Bracknell. Middle Thank Bedroom. You. Middle <laughs> middle box room bedroom. <laughs> it's about as big as my. It's about well, as, congratulations! It's about, half the, about half the size of my wardrobe. Congratulations for managing to get out of bed and join us on time today. Have you managed that? Oh, show them the new cup. The oh. new cup. Check this new cup out that someone gave us. Look. Oh, it's oh a, you told me you got that for me. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said this uh, this cup is for you from me. No, I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did because it, yeah, you did because Look I only like drinking out of bone cute china. Pussy cat. Look, we like cats. We only like drinking out of bone china. By the way, my name's Chris Reardon. This is Ronnie. What's your surname this week, darling? For tax purposes. <laughs> 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 Look who's with us, Terry um, H. Like the you tax get on man, well with him. He's like a bit the, of a drunkard like the, as well. Like the tax man would watch your shows, eh? Like the tax, he's got intelligence. Anyway, <laughs> they're all watching. They're all watching. Look, four million people are watching at this moment. Darling. Four viewers. Four million. Four people viewers are watching all four. across the world. Four. Four, four people. So you like cats, don't you? And well, actually, got three. It's, it's two because I've actually logged in on my iPad and my iPhone. But you haven't. But you but haven't I actually have. logged in on that. I have. I hope you turn that phone off. It's very no. unprofessional. To I know it is, but no, you'll get. No, I'm very, I have to if be you contact... put that near the microphone. I have to be. Uh, I am very busy. I have to be contactable. Well, what are you busy about? Busy, 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 busy. My cleaner. She, she needs to be in contact, con constant contact with me. Is she coming today, is she? No, she's coming on Friday, but she's dropping the ironing off at the moment. Bring her up to the studio, darling. Why? Well, <laughs> there's no room. Where would to, she go? <laughs> to join. There's plenty of room here. There's loads of space. There's about 200 square foot. You can't see it all on the thing. 200 square actually. foot. About two square foot. Uh -huh. And the rest of it's covered up by your... Self. Stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he's brought in, right? This this bloke is supposed to be on a diet. Go on, bring him bring him up. And it will get quite I, hot I'm not supposed it's to like be on a diet. It's like the air conditioning on. We have an air conditioning studio. I'm not so. supposed to be on a diet. Where's well, go on, bring over what you've fudge, got over there. Cadbury's fudge this cake up. bars to go with my coffee. Fudge cake bars. My mum. <laughs> only uh, one only one hundred and oh no, hang on. <laughs> Oh, well, we should calories. have... Um, is it calories or kilojoules? Calories. Yeah. 135 calories. 7% of my daily intake. Only 7% of my daily intake. My little um, my little thing, what's got the words on the things have disappeared somewhere. Oh, what, it it used to be there. Oh. Oh, is it all going yeah. wrong? No, it's not, we don't worry too much about that. It goes wrong quite often, it, I've heard. Well, um, actually, you say that, yes, I had a problem... <laughs> Not quite the BBC, are you? <laughs> I'd have put, oh, that's, that's... I'm not here to ridicule, honestly. <laughs> you are here to ridicule, though, aren't you? <laughs> now, how do I do that? Just a minute. I've got to stop that going. Hey, you talk about scroll. me not no being scrolling. professional. No scrolling, there we are. You talk Where about do you me want not, that? You talk about Where do you want that? In the middle? Across your face. That's about all right there, isn't it? <laughs> so you can call in today if you want to talk to one of us boys and girls. Uh, if you've got the Skype, the Skype call in is all one word. Chris Reardon, CH. Why are you doing that? You haven't passed because, window. No, yeah? no, no, it's you. Oh. You've all in one breath that came out. And yeah. I, it's hot, it's heated up in here quite. So, I might have to take my jumper off. I told you it was going to. Oh, I no. I'll take oh. my jumper off. We haven't got a tight t shirt on that look, makes you look like you're pregnant again. <laughs> well, I'm not being funny. You wear baggy t shirts that make you, want, you look like they're tight t shirts. I mean, it's a bit pointless having the heating on which is about to be upgraded. I'll tell you about that in a minute. The heating on and the air conditioning at the same time. That's because I've put... Oh, dear. Well, Look I'm at it. Being Hanging funny. out like those pants, dear. I'm not being funny. Oh, it is on I here, came round... I'll tell you what, open the window. Open the window. I window. came round... What? Past those... I'm not touching those curtains. Why not? Have you seen them? They're hideous. 
There's nothing wrong with those curtains. Those curtains are hideous. You've had them. You had those here when I came when here I moved 20, in, yes. 20, over 20 years ago. You've had those oh, curtains. Oh, they were happy days for you when you were going out with me. Oh, they was not happy days for oh, me. Oh, he couldn't wait to get oh, around here. If I could I swear. I always remember once. If I could I got a phone swear. call around about, I think it was about one o'clock in the morning. He said, what are you that. doing? And he said, I'm coming over. Uh, and the the, the 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 journey is about an hour. He didn't, was here in thirty minutes. He I didn't couldn't pull. wait to That's get round here to see me. I didn't pull. Could you? Couldn't wait to get round here to see me. Yeah, right. Are you getting very hot then, Don? It is really warm in here. Uh, it will. It will do. It will be. You know well, what? that because and the so heating's small. on as well. So, so going small somewhere. in here. Look, I'm by the window. I bet they can see my hand. Look, I'm touching the window. See my hand. See? I just seem to have been ridiculed in here. You just come in here to ridicule. I have That's come in here to ridicule you so today, yes. Anyway. Is that it then? Yeah, that's it. We'll go now. That's, we'll go now. We've, Messages. We've, we've Did the radiator have sludge in it? Uh, no. Um, the it's radiator. Got anything, it's got anything in it, especially heating. <laughs> if you watch my short videos, you know I'm having a little bit of trouble with one of the radiators this week. Um, so the bloke came round and he turned the ones upstairs down a little bit and turned the one up downstairs up a bit. Can I ask a question? And then it just kind of burst it and put some more water into the system and then it burst into life. Oh, look who's here. Can Daniel's I, here this can morning. Can I ask a question? What? How can you turn down something that's already off? Uh, it's true, though. Come on. <laughs> 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 and it's a bit of a false economy. It's a bit of a false oh, economy. Oh, oh, oh. Would you like to read? We got a message Why from Daniel. He's in up? Camberley. Okay. Why did we split up? Because Chris was a very, very naughty boy. Chris was a very, very... Very naughty boy. I wasn't very naughty boy. Oh, you what was. did I do now, wrong? Uh, now, what was it? Oh, what was that nightclub that you used to go to? I won't mention, but you used to go to this nightclub and you used to say, no, you won't like it there. Don't go, don't go. <laughs> I wonder why. I won't tell you what my friend Lily used to tell me about you. Don't tell what Lily used to tell me. I wouldn't. It's a family programme. It's not a family programme because there's no children. It is a family programme. My nephew might be watching this. What, Jimmy Butler? He's not a child anymore. He is a he's child. A grown man. 17 Dr years drives, old. Drives around in a car. He's got women all over the place. Oh, they're all He'll grow out of that phase. He'll oh, grow out of that phase. Dreadful. <clears throat> when we was in America... And um, on the day I went to see my the Barry Manilow concert. What, when you oh, but have you when, seen? Look, 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 look. When you flew business class. Look, look what I've got here. The new 2015 Barry Manilow uh, calendar. Now I'm not going to open they're it. Doing it. They're doing it early in I'm case he dies. <laughs> say them things. <laughs> they're doing it early. They have to. They have to take as many photos now as possible, just in case. Well, they never know what he's going to look like. I would happily see. With I would happily that, see you dead with that, with all years that, before. Uh, but Barry's not. He can never die. That, so, with all that he will surgery, live, he will live forever. With all that surgery, you never know what he's going to look like. What surgery? I can't see any surgery. <laughs> There's no surgery. He's had more surgery than yeah, the. Where the is house, the surgery? Look, he's look had closely. More, he's had look. more surgery than the, the, the housewives of Beverly Hills. Put there together. is no surgery on that, and don't. Be talk you'll have the Manilow girls after you. Uh, what are they going to do? Put a horse's head in my bed. Don't mess with... <laughs> don't... <laughs> Why would you want a horse's head in your bed? Because that's what the Mafia do when they, when they don't like you. Oh, do they? Yeah, they put a horse's head in Ooh. your bed. Have you never heard of that saying? No, I've never heard of that. Oh. Well, they're going to ice me. Ice, ice, baby? No, they're ice, 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 ice me. They're going to shoot What's me. That? Put a cap in my ass. Put a what? <laughs> that's what the Americans do when they shoot you. They put a cap in your ass. What, in your head, you mean? No, in your backside, and your ass. No, they don't. They do. That should be a great big gun for yours. Here we are. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> spill the beans. Not our church going, Chris, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. He used to go to the club before he went to church. Yeah, some of the states he I didn't go to there. church then, did I? I wasn't going to church for a while. Well, that's right, you're only a part-time Catholic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, <laughs> 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 Spill the beans. Uh, oh, no, no, don't no read, we don't. Don't, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, Daniel, we don't, Please, do, we don't he have does that come back with filth. Some, we try and keep it clean. It's very, very difficult, Daniel, when we've got chavs like you watching the show in a little little council bed sit that you live in with ten other people in Camberley. He lives in Camberley. Oh. 
Really? He goes to big Tesco's down there. Oh, we quite, really? No, we like it in there. We've been in there. We like I've it. not been in Tesco's. How dare you say such I a thing I like the big me. Tesco's. Uh, what's Terry H wants to say? Yeah, did the radiator have sludge in it? No, that's, so that's what happened. However, there is... Oh, just a minute. Let me just say hello to Wendy. Good morning to Wendy. Any chance we can get on with the show today? Well, this is it. Well, you can always watch it later, love, if you haven't got time now. This is it, Wendy. This is it. Oh. What do we get on with the show? This is it. Anyway, so uh, central heating news, boys and girls. I am having a new system. I am having a new system put in. Now, Daniel, you can tell me if I'm being ripped off here or not. I'm quite happy with the price, actually. It, it is a, a total of three thousand. Um. Four hundred pounds, I think it is. Dust. And um, for the eh? Dust. Well, of course it's dust. Clearly, the person who comes in here and does oh, that is oh, that is dust, really bad. <laughs> Clearly, the person who comes in here and does cleaning isn't doing the job properly. Well, that's because you told the person oh, who comes right. in here to clean not to come into here and clean because of all the wires and everything oh. scattered round. Well, anyway, amongst this this equipment that looks like it's come out of the ark. Yeah. To be honest with you. Well, in a moment, Ronnie's going to tell us all about his recent holiday to Borneo and Malaysia. There Singapore. is an email address if you want to join in. Chris and Singapore. At, and Singapore. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is the email address. OK. Um, yes, Daniel. So I'm having a new uh, boiler. I think it's a Worcester. A Worcester boiler. Put a in. My, yes. My old one is coming out. And they're taking it from the kitchen. They're taking all that away from the kitchen and putting this much smaller boiler in the... Um, what's that thing called? Airing cupboard. cupboard. In the airing cupboard. OK, so I'm having that done. Uh, two new radiators are being replaced downstairs. The one in the kitchen and the one in the utility room. Is that wind? It's very windy. windy out there. Yeah, that's what I said. Are you, you cooled down a bit now? Uh, not really. Still... Well, open that other... Uh, I, I don't, open I, that. I feel... I, I, the I one next I'm to the lights, next to the television studio lights. You mean that? No, the other one, the dear. The other one, light. dear. Uh, close that one. The umbrella light. Yeah, close the other one. Otherwise, it looks like you know, just you'll look like there's an no, eclipse touch going. Touch the window. On. Touch just the window. sit down. Sit down. Um, so two new radiators going in. One uh, uh, a utility room and in the kitchen. One's a double one. Uh, new valves going on all all of the radiators. Now I can't remember what these valves are called. I, I, I don't know what they were called. They were special uh, new valves. Temperature were. valves. Yeah, but not ones with thermostat, pins. Thermostat regulators. Not one with pins and not one with chips. I can't remember what, what, what they were now. Um, I'm having a, a wireless um, thermostat thing in the living room on thermostat. the wall. Because I don't have one of those at the moment. Uh, is that all? Oh, How do you regulate your heating then? Power. Well, just on the um, screw things on the radiators. Mm. But apparently, if you don't have the thermostat, thermostat in the living room, <clears throat> even though you've controlled the radiators, the system still comes on and uses gas. Yeah. I mean, uh, my, mine's in my hallway. Whereas with that thing <clears> in the hallway, <throat> gets to that temperature, the whole thing shuts off. Yeah. Completely. So there's that. Uh, power flushing. Because that's never been done. In, well, in you could actually, you could power flush yourself. How's that then? Well, just talk into it. Power flush the system. So get all the rubbish out. And then he puts something else on, like a magnetic thing, to catch any rubbish that goes around after it's been power flushed. <clears throat> um, is that it? I don't know. You, you've not shown me the quote to go over. I think that, oh, it's, uh, that's here, isn't it? Look here. Insulation confirmation. One minute, one minute, one minute. Is that it there? Yeah, I'll be able to look at this on a PDF file. There it is. So, have we took? It's a Worcester Green Star 15i system boiler. Does that mean it? Uh, we, we, we're asking for your advice here, Daniel. Um, Lounge is the wrong place to have the. Oh, oh yes, a two port <coughs> zone valve. Yeah, but it's in the wrong place. Look, lounge. Hey? It says it's in the wrong place. He said lounge or hallway, depending on what I want. Depending on what I want. Um, two port zone valve and a cylinder thermostat for hot, hot water. A new pump. Is that it now? 
on that minute. Pipes. It still says living room on that thing. <coughs> I told him pipes. it's not living room. Pipes. pipes. New pipes. A flu uh, kit. Oh, yes, a new flu uh, to go out of the roof. Uh, yes. He's asking how much, if it, and he'll tell you if it's Feed a good deal. Feed and expansion tank will be removed. Uh, I think that's it. And a heat, heating magnetic filter. Not quite sure what that does. £3,400. What's that hallway? Hallway is to regulate. So I should put it in the hallway. He said <coughs> I could have it wherever mine's I want. Mine's in the hallway. Because it's a wireless one. Mine's in the hallway. Is that a good deal? We mine's need to know the, that. Mine's in the hallway. What do you think? Is that a good deal? Uh, Terry H says three thousand four hundred pound is a good price. We charge three k for just a boiler. Yeah, I I wouldn't I I, I wouldn't even consider ringing. Brit I wouldn't oh, even. We have, we've we've got arguments here between Daniel and Terry. He's saying well, we he's saying well, we look, look, yes, we have look lounge, hallway. Oh right, okay. Oh. Lounge is the right place. He says the hallway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, is that a call coming in? It is. It's Who's that then? I don't know. Unknown. Oh, we don't know who it is. But who is the call? I don't, I don't answer through. these. I don't answer these because you never know who it might be. Yeah. Wait, have you seen this? The six plus one. Oh, he's got the six gigabyte. plus. Six Keep it away plus. from that mic because it'd go. Do, 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 do. Did you ever hear that on the news? No. When they got mobile phones near. Do, 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 no, because they they're not allowed their mobile phones, are they? Well, they're not supposed to. Hallway is Par L regulations. Oh. Anyway, what do you reckon? <clears throat> Terry H says three thousand four hundred pounds is a good deal. I think it's a good deal. I sat on this for about. About four weeks, I kept reading it for. Did you? Yeah, but I wouldn't even consider ring, ringing British Gas to be honest, Terry, um, because you always. Is that who he works for? Well, you always see him on Watchdog, and they've Is charged like for? eight thousand pounds for. Yeah, eight thousand. Well, he's, mm. he's not engineer; he works in the office. I bet, office he, I bet he drives office a girl. big BMW. Have you got a really flash car, Terry? You've got a really flash car, tell. Because uh, <laughs> you work for, for British Gas. Yeah, that's what he's got. Yeah, I bet he's got a really flash car. <laughs> Talking of cars and oh, we haven't finished yet. Hang on, hang on. So uh, Daniel also thinks that's not a bad price, and so they're going and they're going to start that. They said they were very busy, but they can fit me in. Why do they say that? Why pretend that they're going to fit me in? Um, not Monday, the Monday after, and then it'd take two days. A week on Monday. Two days. So that's it. So that's all happening. I thought that was a good price as well. Wouldn't consider British Gas. I always hear about people that have been charged like £8,000 and all that. It's just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Terry. Oh, 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 are you ready for this, Terry? Daniel says, Terry is a call centre girl and I'm an installations manager. We install 1,500 boilers a year. What, the same house? Why would you want to install 1,500 boilers a year yeah. in the same as? I can only dream of having that many viewers at the moment. There's 700 watching. Seven. Seven. seven, seven not 700. People. Not 7 million. Seven not million 7, people watching. Here you are. Seven. Here you are. Look. He's got an Audi A3. That is oh, flash. My, my, it my, is flash. My Andy had an A3. He had, um, he had, a, he had a lovely A3. Um, uh, <laughs> very nice, wasn't it? You uh, liked that, didn't you? I did like his car, yeah. He did, yeah. He's just bought, him, he's just bought himself yeah. a new BMW. So... I'm thinking about getting another BMW. I miss my BMW. Oh, that was so uncomfortable. And that car talking you of cars, oh. moving swiftly on. Oh no! Don't, 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 don't. Because yesterday, I oh. think, I think, A, I think an A3 is lovely. Yeah, nice they one, are. Terry. You have what you want, my darling. You work hard for that, don't you? Do you live at home, Terry, or you, or, or have you got your own place? Uh, the firm I'm using to do this is. Uh, is uh, but, but, but. One minute. One Bracknell moment. Nice. Plumbing oh, yes. and Heating. Bracknell Plumbing and Heating. And the name, my, ma man's name is Martin. I think it's Martin and uh, Mark as this well. This chair's okay. very uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is chair. It? This bit sticks uh, no, in your I, back. I think that's because you can't lean back because that thing's there. No, no, no. This yeah, is sticking it's not, in my yeah, back. Yeah, it's not comfortable. No. When I put that through, because you remember the other chair I had? I had that for about 20 years, that lovely leather chair. Well, of course, I won't have leather in the house. Animal abuse and all that business. Um... So I got this from Staples, and I thought it is comfortable, but you can't. It it it, it, it makes you sit bolt upright, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, it doesn't. Now that's the other thing. Sometimes no, it's not doing it now, is it? Oh! Sometimes it goes back, and other times it doesn't. Yes, yeah, it... <laughs> we do that, don't they? When they have heart attacks, come back here, come back here. They won't be doing that to you because you don't have a heart. 
Hey, uh, he looks after the social housing for the chavs. Uh, oh, you'll probably get oh, a visit talking, then, won't you? Talking of that, <laughs> driving down the road today, ma, well, ma, I've, ma. Uh, in one street, I've never seen so many cars up on jacks in yeah. my life. Yeah. I was oh, petrified, oh, oh. petrified to leave mine in the street, dear. Okay. <laughs> Mind you, there was a couple of... Your neighbours were cleaning their car, and I thought there was a couple of Polish people, so I went to give them my car keys. <laughs> <laughs> I said, give that... A oh, hello, Carol. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> You do oh, live in that that's the area. way to do it, my darling. You do live in a sort that's of it. The way to do it, but the way to do it. You do live Terry in a sort H, of area. Terry H says British Gas do thirty thousand boiler installs a year. Let's not compare sight. Let's not compare numbers. numbers. As we, as we will win. <laughs> he lives in his own place. Oh, right. Okay, Terry. I didn't know you had your own place there. Yeah, good on you. And as as uh, and for Daniel, he is a team manager at British Gas. Oh. Team manager. Does that mean you're? He's, is that? Very important, important person. Very important person. Do you have a clipboard? Person. Have you got a clipboard, Terry? And no, Daniel. Oh. No, Daniel. You don't look after my council house because I don't live in a council house. I live in a private oh, cul-de-sac. No. A private cul-de-sac. He's got a cul -de -sac. clipboard. He's got a clipboard. Private cul-de-sac. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Are you like this? Are you like this? Are you like this, um, Terry? Hey, good morning. I'm from British Gas. Very important person. I've come to have a look at your installations. <laughs> Have you got glasses to put? Do the glasses go on so that you look even more important, like the people in Sainsbury's, dear? Oh, talking of Sainsbury's, I popped in there on the way through. I don't normally shop in Sainsbury's, as you well know. I'm a Waitrose girl, and um, there's this woman that walks up and down. She, I think, she must be like a till supervisor. Yep. Anybody would think she's a prison officer. The way that she walks up and down with her keys and her, her <laughs> sleeves pushed up, <laughs> staring at people, staring. They are staring, gang. Staring. staring. Now, don't forget, gang, uh, you can join in either by Skype, phone or email. It'd be nice to have a call or two today. Uh, the Skype, if you've got Skype, call in. come through on speakers? Like yes, it does. You'll be able to hear people. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, the Skype in is all one word, Chris Reardon. C-H-R-I-S-R-E-A-R-D-O-N. That's a Skype in, Chris Reardon. Or there is a local London phone number, 020 8133 Please use one of those other methods or the email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Dot I have just had a message. My, I think my sister-in-law is watching. Oh, Cassie. Is Cassie oh, Shotlander. Cassie. Hello, Cassie. Uh, because she's... Oh, she's the she's, life and soul of the party. She's she sent a little dear. message for you, What's dear. that say? Does he don't, use, does does he use, he use a, a socket, socket to, to regulate, regulate his heating? heating? <laughs> um, no, I don't actually. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Why is that funny? Is that that's like a private joke funny. that I know nothing about? That is a joke that you can you just you see? Can you just get that mouse and carefully click quit on there because it's trying to install something dear i must turn off that facility why because you haven't got apple products because oh, you're not superior God. like me yeah are you on the great holland's estate well he's not far how off it how dare you he's not far off how the great dare holland's you? estate how dare you <laughs> awful person <laughs> right is let's say hello to someone else rory's here blocking? with us this morning good morning to rory um and you feeling flushed. Morning, Chris and Ron, and you feeling flushed. Yes, hot. It is quite hot in here because I, I put the heating on because he was because he moans. Oh, isn't it cold? So I put it to so today he's hot. You can't win. You can't it's probably the television studio lights. No, the here. reason what it is is that. because this room is so small and you've got so many lights on. I mean for somebody that doesn't put a light on in the house at night, yeah. It's it's like Eternal sunshine in here. Well, <laughs> apart yeah. from you. Yes. Dr. So, Death. Rory says he enjoyed the sparkler video. You enjoyed that. Did you enjoy the sparkler? Doc yeah, Dr. Death. Dr. Death. That is Dr. Death. <laughs> he had to take a cat in a little while ago. Don't, don't. Oh, love. Poor little cat. Give, give me cuddles. No. Give me cuddles. No. Go and put on my. No, you thank must you. trust me, darling. No, no you because you haven't, haven't showered. Cowards. You haven't showered. I have showered. I showered yesterday. Yeah, you need to shower daily. Um, uh, so Rory says, waited all day for the boiler man yesterday. No arrival. Coming Thursday now. In uh, theory, who was in that theory. with? Who was that? Name and shame, Rory. What company was that? Because we have a. Team manager, manager from British Gas on today, and perhaps he can sort out your influences and your pumpings. He might be able to sort out your water problem. Let us know what company. Was it British Gas? Do let us know. Um, make sure they power flush for at least half a day. Why would you want to block me? 
I'm 50% of the audience. <laughs> we don't, why, oh, who, it's who, very said funny. Any, who said uh, anything about blocking you? I did. did. You? I did. Oh, because no, we can't said, afford to have people blocked what, on this programme. Because of what you said there, look. He said about oh, look the, who it is. Marge is here. Good morning, Marge. Uh, has got a Skype working. Good morning, Chris and Ron. Good morning, Marge. And how is Oklahoma today? Because it's been a bit cold here recently. Um, not too bad today, though. Actually, I don't think I needed that eating on today. Did you have yours on this not, morning? I'm not being funny. You, you, you could probably heat up the outside because it's so small in the Ma heat that's coming out of this room. Speak again. Is that microphone working? I don't know. Is that microphone working? I don't think it is. There you go. Oh, it might be. Oh, yeah. Go on, do it, do it again. Do you have... Do you have technicians in this in this uh, in this studio? I swear it doesn't seem to pick up certain frequencies of your voice. Oh, my maybe dulcet tones. Uh, maybe that's why no one ever listens to you. My dulcet tones. <laughs> 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 yes, Marge says I finally got my Skype working. Did you have trouble with that then, Marge? Anyway, good morning to you. Hope it's nice and warm in Oklahoma today. And we got who's this? Kieran. Good morning, Kieran. Ah, oh, Kieran in Hertfordshire. That's near where your mum and dad lives, isn't it? Hertfordshire's a big county. Where do you, where's your mum and dad live? My, my parents live near Cuffley. Who? Cuffley. Cuffley. How do you spell that? C U W F. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Kieran is watching live today. I hope Ron isn't coming down with Ebola. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, no, not no, because I haven't come from any Ebola ridden country. I said, get those rubber gloves out, darling. Mm -hmm. I think you had a packet of those from somewhere, didn't I? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. No, uh, I didn't come from an Ebola country. I didn't go to Africa, Indonesia. Oh, yeah, yeah no, you haven't been there. You've been to. I've been, I've been all over the world, but Borneo. Recently, recently, I've been to Borneo. And tell us what what exciting things you did there, lovely. Um, well, I went to see the orangutans. Yeah. You so kindly put put my video up. I put a few photos up. Uh, oh, oh, I thought that was Sharon online then. Um, oh, she won't appear, dear. Why? She hasn't got time. She's very, very busy, busy person. I think she was helping busy. elderly people. I think she was busy making a chili con carne the other day, so it flashed up on my screen. Oh yes, I yeah. saw that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, or we're due for snow next week, apparently. No, Marge's. She's oh. in Oklahoma. That's see, that's little Marge's window there. She just popped up on there uh, to have conversations with us, dear. Snow next week in Oak. Oh, I hate the snow. Do you? I don't. Did I you love come it. with me to? Um, no. To uh, France. Yeah, France. No, you didn't I didn't. I hate one, the though. French. Didn't do that one. Though. I hate the French. Italy. Uh, no, no I, I've uh, been to the to snow to do. Um, no, no, no. I never went skiing with you. What no. one did you come to then? Um, we went to Sardinia. Just one or yeah, two? Just one. I thought you came to two of those. No, just Sardinia. I used to DJ um, a couple of jobs abroad. Used I... to. <laughs> Everyone knows my name. No, they don't. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> cheers, sweetheart. It's oh, not it's cheers on the scene. Over. It's all over. Hardly Your anyone. Your sparkler oh, has sparkler dimmed. Has, uh, it's not. It's, it's, it's not extinguished. It, no, it is not oh, extinguished. I'm no, oh, sorry. You've got one night, haven't you? It's just flickering. It's not extinguished. Flickering. Your life will extinguish if you carry on getting that bowler, darling. Flickering. Oh. Are you it? ever going? <laughs> <laughs> Marge wants to know if you're ever going to grow a real beard. I do, I, well, uh, the thing is, I, I don't grow a long beard. I have it trimmed. I have a barber. <laughs> I have a barber from the Lebanon who cuts my hair and, 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 um, and trims my beard. I don't like a long beard because it's very irritable. Irritable. Yes. Yes. It's a word uh, I could use about you. Yes, yeah, a word I could use quite honestly, quite quite We're a lot. We're both grey, aren't we? I just noticed that. Um, and I do have a little bit of grey in my beard there, but it, that a it little makes, bit that makes me a little bit distinguished. It's mainly grey. Distinguished. Oh, I never told you. You know what I had the other day in a long my eyebrow. Hair, a long, a long, a long grey grey eyebrow hair. I've never had one of those. It has been. Oh my plucked. god! You're going to end up looking plucked. like what was his name? Alistair Darling. Who's he? Uh, he was oh, a, is he the money man? A minister. He was a minister and he had very long grey eye eye eye. Is he the Labour one? I think so. Well, don't mention don't, those people on this programme if you don't mind, darling. Don't lift your arms up, please. Now Marge says she's got eighteen cats. Would you like another one? He would like as many cats as possible, Marge. I do I do like cats. We love cats. Um yeah, no, I don't want I don't want any more at the moment. I don't want any more. What's this for? Don't start pulling things about a wire might come out and we'll go off air. <laughs> Millions of people will be disappointed. Seven. You don't know it's seven? Yeah, are eight. Eight. Eight people. Now, where's that gone? There it is. <laughs> oh, Christ, I thought I pushed the wrong button there. Um, apparently, you look rugged. Oh, do me a favour, Marge. 
He does not look rugged. See, Chris can't looks bear it. Very, very girly. Very I girly. I don't having a beard make you look girly. Now, tell me about your holiday. Uh, because I thought, well, I looked at the map and I wasn't quite sure whether Borneo was actually in Malaysia. La no. Was it okay. in Malaysia? Ma Borneo. Or is Borneo a completely separate country? No, Borneo is an island. Like the Isle of Wight. No, that is a completely separate, separate country, island. isn't okay, it? Okay, no. No, the Isle of Wight is not a separate country. Is it's it? part of the UK. Uh, England, sorry. Not the UK, England. Um, Borneo is an island that is split into four parts. You have uh, you have Malaysia, which is uh, at the top. And then you have uh, Brunei, where the yeah. Sultan of Brunei... Now, I don't know how the Sultan of Brunei is so rich, because it's such a tiny little country. Oh, well, he must have murdered loads of people and made slaves no, and all that I don't business. Know. Uh, and they then collect part, gold, part don't they, yeah, part, uh, part of it is Malaysia, part of it Indonesia, part of it Brunei. And I can't think of what the other part is. It's gone off... The, I had it. I, I did have a map. Do you have to have a passport out to go from Malaysia to Brunei? I, d I don't know, because we never went to Brunei. I would have thought so, though. I thought that's where the orang Utangs were. No, the orangutans were at the uh, the other Shangri-La hotel where we stayed. The Shangri-La is a marvellous hotel. So Five the orang Utangs are in a hotel? No, they're not in a hotel. What the, room the are hotel, they in? The hotel has a um, rehabilitation facility attached to it. Have you ever thought about that? What, rehabilitation? Yes. I've done it. I've Have done it. Tried to, I, I've tried to ease yourself into normal life. It's just not happening, is it really? Uh, normal no. life just doesn't suit me. I'm far no. too... I've, I have the F gene, don't I? The what? The F gene. What's that? The fabulous gene. The F oh, gene, right. so, so normal life doesn't, does, does, just doesn't fit me. Mm. But, so, yeah, the orangutans... There's a, it's like a, the jungle part. There's, there's, you've got the, the beautiful hotel with the two and a half mile beach. With, there's four people in it. Why do they have such four a people on a beach? On a beach, I'll, I'll show uh, you. Amazing. The, the but, but if you let me finish, uh, then you I'll have, have to, the hotel. Where's my pen? One minute. Where's my pen? Because I start if I don't say things when I've thought you of them, you start they, waffling. They disappear. Mm. And um, uh, I don't beside, the, be, beside the hotel, there's there's like hills and mountains, and that's where the rehabilitation centre is right. for the orangutans. Because unfortunately, Borneo is being raped for its uh, for its wood, and they're, wood? they're cutting down the trees oh. and, the, and the forest, and they're planting palm trees because the west Not for the for the for the oil, for the west, for the, oil. the yeah. west thirst for. Um, the palm oil from these Why palm trees. Why do they trees. do that? Hundred. Now, you, as you drive, as we was driving, you see them. The fields, hundreds and hundreds. And I mean, these are not small plants. These are massive. These are massive trees. And um, there's just hundreds of hundreds of. Anyway, uh, so the, the, there is protected parts, and part of the hotel is for the rehabilitation. When they cut these down, obviously the the you know they kill the orangutans. Oh, it's sad. I've seen it's pictures. Very sad. So they they you know in, in in I think in eight years they've managed to rehabilitate thirty eight. It doesn't sound a lot, mm. but the rehabilitation takes years. It takes years to be able to release a wild animal back into the wild after it's it, it's been traumatized. What, what do they eat? Uh, fruit, mostly fruit oh, and grubs and things. Apples and yeah. Apples. They're not. They're not pears. And they're, you know, they're, not, they're not like violent creatures, are they? They're they just... can be. They're, they're very strong. A fully, a fully grown, a fully grown male ape um, could k easily kill you. Could, I mean, they're, they're they're extremely strong. You know, they swing through the trees with ease. If you if you look, watch my video, you see them swing along the. the that oh, I did watch it. Yes. You know, but, you know. I mean, I mean, could you imagine yourself swinging across trees, dear? Well, I can have not a go. with that. I can have a go. Not with that, you couldn't. With what? No, no. You might want to go to the middle part of you, dear. What? The stomach. Oh, there's not too much. There's a little bit gone back on, isn't there? A little bit. It's huge. No, it's um, not. Anyway, the, yeah. So, so the, I've got the, uh, I've got doctor this week, and I so the, so the, yeah, so I hope he doesn't say anything. He said, "Oh, you've put back a bit of weight back on." Mm, they'll be sending you to one of those clinics next. Perhaps I could be rehabilitated back into a slim person. There's a slim person inside of me just wanting to get out. <laughs> Two or three, by the looks of it, dear. <laughs> 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 Message from Marge for you. Look. Uh, or are we just giving it through? My granddad had long eyebrows that came down into his eye. Oh, no, try and sound a bit more interested. Where do you do that? My granddad, his, 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 my granddad had long eyebrows that came down into his eyes. Sometimes he had to trim them. Oh, I've, I trim mine. Do you? No, well, actually, the hairdresser does it. He gets the comb and he goes like that and goes, Zip, and it's so, with the that you haven't done properly. That is properly, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, you know don't, nothing about male don't, grooming. We don't get our. Well, I don't get my hair done properly anymore. Not ever since you moved out of London to to to, to Blacknell in here in Royal Berkshire. Yeah. 
we used to go to this lovely little hairdresser's didn't well I did yeah. well, why didn't you go in there oh you had some woman come round no so I used to go to this hairdresser's right uh, where were they from Tur Turkey are they Turkish the Turkish 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 they'd have the whole thing done you'd have a hair done they'd have a wet towel hot towel and what's, what's the other thing you have a massaging and massaging and then all stuff put on your hair pss, pss, nine pounds okay he had a woman come round because it was his friend twenty pounds no, it was wasn't it actually it was, it, it was 29 she charged you 29 pounds to cut my hair yeah and she it weren't it even, yeah, but it weren't even a proper hairdressers. It was she don't come with mirrors and lights and things like that. We've got it in here. Twenty nine pounds for hairdress. Yes, Jesus. No, no. Uh, oh, twenty nine pounds. Shangri La. No wonder the extra brew was five hundred. That was actually discounted. Oh yes. actually, if you the just reason, tell the millions. Uh, no, the, the how many are we? No, what, what 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 he's talking about? Because oh. they may not have seen the short videos that are available okay. every day. Right. Well, I stayed at the Shangri La, and at the end of my hotel, uh, my stay at the hotel, there was a bill which was just over five hundred pounds. And Chris couldn't believe that there was a hotel bill for five hundred pounds. Could, could it, just convert that to American dollars for our many American friends, darling. Might be about nine hundred dollars. No, about nine hundred dollars. And. Um, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. Now you've interrupted me. Okay, so you had a, a hotel bill oh, yeah. at the end exactly. of your stay. At the end of my stay. And that, it was, but no, that just was a minute. actually no, just a minute. Just a minute. That's not. That's not the hotel. Uh, no, not already paid for the room. Well, yeah, that's that. The, this that's, is extras. We'd, we'd, extras. We'd already paid for a suite. We had a suite. You see, we had two bathrooms, a living area, a dining room, a bedroom. W uh, oh, wardrobe. I don't feel well, too. I really don't, darling. Oh, we'll go and die quietly somewhere. Oh. Um, and it was quite fabulous. It overlooked um, some trees, and then the beach, and then the sunset. It was it was an amazing room. Um, but the the bill was for you know for for meals and things. What I don't think that was expensive, and it was discounted because the, discounted. The, yeah, it was discounted. The it was why, still five hundred pounds. Yeah, but the reason why it was discounted was because the the cleaners never cleaned properly. The housekeeper, I had to call, I had to call housekeeping and complain. There was hairs on the floor in my oh, second bathroom. What your own hairs, probably? No. No, to me that's not you know in a five star hotel that's just not acceptable. So I um I, I call it and they they discount. Well, it. I don't get bills like that. I, in fact, I don't have a bill. I get to the distance and um, do I owe you anything? That's because you no, don't do it. anything. That's it. Thank you. Yes, I do. I do do think. Look at me in Israel. Every night was a in in Florida. Every day we was out yeah, on the, another trip. Yeah, but there were no bills. Yeah, but no bills at the end. So yeah, but you, even, uh, even with my uh, nephew Jimmy Butler. Who may be with us today? I don't know. Usually, yeah, sends but, a, yeah, but the resort that I say there was there was five restaurants. So you know, we ate at the hotel. We, we had room service. You didn't have to go through every one, did you? Well, we didn't go through every one. But, but, but we had room service. There was my massages, right, to relieve my stress. Massages. Yeah, How massages. much were they then? Thirty quid a time. But you had someone with you. Couldn't he do it? No, not properly. Why is that then? Because it's because they don't do it. Oh. That way. <laughs> It's something else, isn't it, when you're in a relationship and you've got to get someone else in to do these little bits and pieces for you. No, if, if it's you had a proper massage, apart, isn't it? if you had a proper massage, then you would know it's not, it's nothing to do with that, that side of a relationship. <sighs> oh, dear me. Mm. Well, um, so £500, well, that's a lot to me. Uh, what's Marge saying there? How my, many bottles of booze? I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. We did have a mini bar, yeah, but um, nine hundred pounds. Nine hundred. Oh, you don't touch the mini bar. Does did Andy, does Andy touch the mini bar? No. No. You buy your own. We had no need to. There was. He a, has a little drink now and again. He does have a little drink, but there, there's it's quite um, funny when he's drunk. There's a there, there, we had a private lounge to go to on the sixth floor, but yes. only people in suites were allowed allowed to. It was a, a, pri oh, right, a yeah. private area for, for for people, not people in normal rooms, um, just like let's say room three oh six was a normal room. We had suites. 308 right so because we had a suite we was allowed in this in this this yeah, private yeah, yeah, yeah. and we could go up there and drink wine and alcohol and whatever we wanted to there was food and it was very nice it was all, all and that was all included and that was all included yes oh so we had no reason to use well, a minibar well i mean i just i had a similar thing when we was in when i was in israel and um and, and they tells you as soon as you get there so you book into the room and says, by the way uh, we've got tea and coffee over there and biscuits as well. Uh, no, cookies, cookies. We've got tea, coffee and cookies over there. Anytime you want one, just come down and help yourself. So that was similar to what you were asking. And it? No, it's not. It's not because there were chefs that would prepare food. <laughs> there oh, was... No, there was no, we had no, they did breakfast. 
which was, and that was um, scrambled eggs. There was some hot stuff and some cold stuff as well. But that was the only meal they did there. You couldn't, like, call... <laughs> you stay in some hovels, don't you? you could, <laughs> no, it was a nice place. Ta-da! It was a nice place. You couldn't call down at, you know, one o'clock and say, oh, could I have a pizza? Or, I could, like, could I, could, I order I dinner could or call, a sandwich or something I could call like room service 24 hours a day. Yeah, and how much did you order, pay for that, though? And order anything I wanted. Absolutely anything. And how much does that go? So it, you had a meal. You ordered meals to the room, did you? So, so let's say that I ordered, let's say that I rang and I said to them, "Okay, I'd like oysters," and they never had. Oh any, no! Had any no, the I, oh. They would go out and get oysters and bring them to me. What from the sea? From that, from, from from the fish markets or wherever. They would find somewhere to get whatever Blimey. you wanted. And how much would you pay for that? Well, you, obviously, you, you a lot of that. money. Yeah, you would, yes. What more than those fudge cake bars? Stop looking at them. You can't have one. Why is that then? Because, uh, hello. <laughs> We're we'll having dinner after this anyway. Need I say more? Oh yeah, talking of dinner, I had to uh, bring my o- own oysters. Oyster. Oh, I have you had oysters? Yes, I have, and I like oh. them. They're delicious. You don't chew them; you oh, just swallow but, them. Well, what's the point then? Put it in your mouth, swallow it. No taste, nothing. Back of the tongue. Oh slips God! Down beautifully. No, 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 no! Not oysters. Not oysters or snails or anything I like that. Eat snails. Oh. I wouldn't eat snails, not a snail. You mustn't eat live animals. Do. Are they alive when you eat them, oysters? No, of course not. But don't you. Do you pull them out of the sea? Yes. And then you open them and eat them? Is that how it works? You can do that, yes. Oh, God, they're not even cooked? No. Of course not. Oh, no. It must be just like eating snot. N- no, n- not. No. Is it like. Do you a eat snot quite often? Is then? it like a solid thing, is it? No, it's quite. It's quite slippery. No, I don't like the idea of that too. No, you don't like the idea of lots of things, do you? No. No. Marge says, can she be more girly if she grows a beard? <laughs> Marge? Yeah. I thought she was a man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a picture? No, there isn't one. There, 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 there's, we've got pictures somewhere of Marge. Uh, Rory says, oh, he's got a cat. Look, Tara. Tara the cat. What sort of cat? Have you got a little picture of her, um, please, Rory, of your cat, Tara? She's hiding behind the computer. She's named after a waitress whose phone number I lost. No orangutans here. <laughs> you should get one in. Get an orangutan. They used to be. There used to be. Um, there used to be a films on, and they had an orangutan in it. It was called Any Which Way But Loose. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Any Which Way But, but my dad. Loose. My dad used to love. Used Can to you love talk those. for a minute? I need to go wee. Oh, thank you for sharing that. That was really nice. I wish I could show you around this studio while it's in the well, bathroom. Can't, that's it. I can't because the camera is cable tied to a videotape, which is screwed to the wall, which is quite funny. Oh, and there's little bits of paper and things. Isn't it funny that the oh. door's right there? I thought you said it was 2,000 square feet. There is. Uh, what, including the garden? Technical part. <laughs> So, yeah, so the hotel and the orangutans were very, very good. Um, you went up this long path and you got to a viewing platform and you was literally within touching distance of the animals. Um, they come, come storming through the forest. You see all the trees and the branches moving. And then there's all these little monkeys with like little spikes, little spikes of hairs uh, sticking out the top of their head that the, um, that the Borneo people, they called them Beckham monkeys after David Beckham. Um, is that why they're called Beckham monkeys? Well, that's why they called them Beckham monkeys because they oh, had right. the Beckham haircut. They had the little, little pointy bit of the top. Oh yeah. And um, and the orangutans come through, and um, you've shown them the video of, of, of the, you know they come swinging across. Yes, but the little yes, monkeys come. Yes. It's quite funny when the little little monkeys come and they try and get the food, and the orangutans chase them off. It's hilarious. We like monkeys. Yeah, we do. We do like monkeys. I might like to go to um, what do you call it now? London Zoo or something like that. Mm, no, I've been. I went to London Zoo, and it's it's not all it's cracked up to be, isn't it? No, no. Don't, I don't they have so. a spy? Spider thing or something. What's that on there? It's probably a label. Oh, it's a bit of fluff. Bit of, it's gone. probably a bit of dust from this room. It's all <laughs> no dust in this room. Oh, here we've got, we've got a phone call. Phone call. How yes. do you know you've got a phone call? Because it comes up oh, there. It's an unknown number. Yes. Good morning. Who's that? Oh no, they've hung up. Oh dear. Hung up. Never mind. They... But it was an unknown number. Why do you ask? That that could have been that could have been like a like like a PPI person. What's a PPI? Person? You know the, the payment protection insurance people that ring up. Yeah. Oh, you've got to keep those going. Start talking to them and then just put the phone down at the last minute. Mm. 
Maybe they'll call back. Look who it is. It's Cassie, Cassie Shortlander. Shortlander. Maybe it was her calling in. Good morning, Cassie. How are you today? Now, what I can't remember, did you sing on the... I did a little karaoke at this tiny little place in um, Dalston uh, a couple of Fridays ago. It was for someone's 60th birthday. What was the name? Um, Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill's um, 60th birthday party. It was a nice nice, nice little do. No, but, I mean, you say this is small. That was the smallest area. No, second smallest area I have... Uh, have oh, the mirror ball's not going round. Oh, my God. No, it's the switch down. Oh, we'll have to leave it. No, 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 no. Don't move. You'll pull something out, dear. Um, talking of monkeys, Ronnie has a face like a baboon's ass. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How did you two end up moving to Bracknell? I used to live in Wandsworth. I moved here in 1992. He moved here two years ago? Three yeah, now. two years ago. Two years ago. He fo it follows me. I didn't Basically, follow him. You know, I, I, had to get I, out of I move, and a few years he follows again because he cannot do without me. That's what it is. No, oh, 20, 20 years is a long time. Is a long time to be waiting, isn't it? What is it? <laughs> I'm still waiting. Yeah, you can wait. I, Cassie, Cassie's not very happy with me at the moment. Well, what have you done? Though? I put a little photo on Facebook last night. Oh yes, that was a little bit. Yes, I saw that yeah, as well. The as well. turtle toe. The t oh, that one. Sorry, yeah. I thought you meant the other one. No, no, no. The turtle toe was quite funny. <laughs> Uh, Rory said there's a picture of me and Tara on my Facebook cover pictures. Couldn't you have just sent it, dear? Uh, oh, what's this now? God. Going to visit Mam's cousins, monkeys is fun. Did they toss crap at you? No. Oh. Um, that happened to me once at the local Oklahoma City Zoo. They tossed... Oh, maybe they're trained to do that. Maybe they're trained to throw crap oh. at people to make them laugh. Where's cover photos? Can we find that? A little bit oh, of cover photos. Oh, there's hundreds. Oh, there it is. There's the cat. Oh, look. Hang on a minute. Uh, I've just got to... We can show that to the millions of people. You mean eight, seven. Oh, shut up. Seven people. Oh, do you say... Do you, how are you feeling? I don't feel well today. I don't feel well today. I don't know why. Right, let's just... Um... I don't feel well at all. There's lots of messing about with this, isn't there? No, no. no. Well, that's because usually there'd be one person doing a TV show and there'll be someone else doing everything that I'm doing like clicking buttons here is Rory's cat ah oh. what's its name again Tara Tara, Tara the cat ah oh. does she sleep with you Rory it's a bit personal eh a bit personal oh we like cats sleeping with us my cat don't sleep. my cat used to sleep with us but she doesn't come in the house now because of my asthma unfortunately here's something any other questions about Borneo? Are you waiting for somebody to, to, to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> that big pause there. <laughs> then please ask now, boys and girls. Someone did try and call in. That didn't work, though, did it? I think you two will get back together. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't so. think so. You must be you joking. We are very, no. very different. We are actually very, very different. We, Things he likes. He likes okay. all like, okay. you know... Uh, expensive things tolerance levels I, I'm there is something called tolerance levels and the more time you spend with Chris Reardon the tolerance level gets smaller and smaller how small is it at the moment smaller. it's actually it's actually is it? it's actually is it? at is it? A, a level which is um, acceptable acceptable um, by probably half past one two o'clock I'll probably want to go home and sleep oh, just go. to you know go home now if you want to Oh, I'm quite comfortable. Well, I'm not comfortable. It's time for chair. dinner, aren't you? I, well, I had to bring my own lunch. <laughs> you didn't have to bring your own lunch. Yes, I did. You told me to. Yeah, hey, oh, look. So, so Ronnie is very um, uh, likes likes the finer things in life. That that would be a fair comment, wouldn't it? It would be a very fair comment. He likes the finer things in life. Well, I'll I'll just I'll just be happy with a Toyota. Yeah. Well, no, you just you will make do. I will make do. Talking to Toyota Yaris's, I'd buy two new. A Toyota. How is it? How is it? A hundred and sixty-three pounds for two tyres. Do you want to buy a tyre for my Jeep? Why then? is that? You want to buy a tyre for my four-wheel drive car? And if it was one hundred and sixty-three pounds, when I passed on a little bit of money to my little nephew for two new tyres, why didn't I get any chains? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Change never seems to come my way when it comes to dishing out money. Why is that? No, because things are expensive. Mm. Things are expensive. Okay. <clears throat> now, I've got some things here, right? Oh, yes, you were talking about that um, that beach. The best, the best beach I ever went to was in the Dane Tree near... At the, at the edge of the Daintree rainforest mm. in Australia, in Queensland. Mm. And it was just miles and miles of flat, and there was no one. Yeah. There was <laughs> only me, the guide, and I think th the three other people. Mm -hmm. And I felt I felt guilty walking along the beach. And you saw these little blue crabs and things. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, the nicest beach it I saw was just was, beautiful. Uh, it was on on the peninsula. I was in I was in the <coughs> I was in the Maldives, <coughs> and um, at the top end of the island, the, you, the 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 sand went out into a point, and you could see where the two separate parts of the sea met. Yeah. And it looked like it was boiling. It was amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. The sunsets there were quite amazing as well. Oh, I can't believe you you oh, actually believe fabulous. that, Terry. Fabulous, Terry. Oh. Ronnie should be on every week. Adds value to the show. What value? Thank you. Thank you very much. What I've value? been telling him his, his, his shows are quite boring sometimes. Boring? He needs to, needs to jazz them up a touch. Did jazz you know what that up. James Dean said? I know, it's hilarious. Because <laughs> James Dean, my friend James <laughs> Dean, he's now, he's, he, he's on tame <sighs> side, tame. Tameside, Tameside Radio, oh, some, some council place some, up north. There's uh, some place up north in uh, Manchester. How can you eat one of those before dinner? Because I'm hungry. I'm absolutely starving. I've been here for nearly an hour. I've had one coffee. Anyway, so him and I have always been doing internet radio for a while. This is like internet video now. I've kind of moved on. But he carried on doing internet radio. Eventually, he got a, a, a little voluntary job in Tameside Radio, which is a, a community station. Do you know what a community radio station is? Like, it's a small radio station. They're not allowed to make any profit. Oh, they is serve, it community-based? Yes. Oh, well, that and, wouldn't happen where, we, and you, where you, I live because it's not council you, and community-orientated. It's a shut private, up! private cold Shut up! And um, so... You'd listen and you get the music and a bit of chat, uh, and you'd also get okay. We're going to do the things that are happening today. There's going to be a fate at St. Margaret Cliff Rose School this afternoon at two o'clock. All are welcome. Uh, Mrs. B from Mulberry mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. has lost her black and white cat. If anyone sees it, uh, you can see a picture on our website, then please contact the staff. And it's that sort of thing. Mm -hmm, right? So that's mm -hmm, a community. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh, they have uh -huh. adverts as well. Uh -huh, the uh -huh. adverts uh -huh. are trying mm -hmm. to make the money to run the station uh -huh, and uh -huh. pay a few people, but they're not allowed to make a profit. OK, so get to the point, get to the bit what he said oh, yes. about you. No, I'm still talking about James Dean because I'm quite proud of him. Uh, so he went as a voluntary and then he's he's been moving up and now he's in he's in charge of like a large chunk of it apparently over the program director now the program director is the bloke who decides who gets on air and who doesn't okay so i would write to uh, perhaps tameside radio and say, now does that help you see it uh -huh, yeah, see uh -huh. if you can read that does it help you no no um you write to the programme director, hello, I'm Chris uh -huh, Reardon, uh -huh, uh, I'd uh -huh. like to do a radio show, uh, here's my demo, and the programme director would hopefully... Sounds like you've done that before. Shut up a minute, hopefully listen to it, and then he would decide whether you get on or not. Well, he is above the programme director. So I said to him the other day, I said, well, when do I move? He said, what do I... Because he's, he's now got this new position, fully paid, very proud of young people who get a bit older and then start moving up. I never moved up, did I? No. <laughs> Dimming. I never really seem to move up to anything, but it doesn't matter, you know. I've been sort of relatively happy doing what I do. Still rich. And um, still doing this, all this for nothing. Still rich. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Mon the money's got nothing to do with it, has it? Of course not it has. rich, not rich. I wouldn't say I'm rich. I'm not. I'm not. I was just careful with the money, and then when, when mum and dad's money came, I put it into the into the properties, and they've done all right. Hmm. But you've got to stick it to it. You've got to let me a car come to that in a minute. Anyway, so he's now in charge. So I rang him up. I said, well, when, when am I moving? He said, where are you moving to? I said, well, I'll need to move. Can you find a place up there? 
He said, why do you want to move up here? Well, presumably you were about to offer me a job. And he just laughed down the phone. No, he didn't laugh. He, he said... did laugh down the phone. And I said, I said, um, do you think I'm suitable? He said, well, he said, I think you might need to be a bit more relevant. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean, relevant? And he said, well, he said, um, perhaps not so much talking about your cat. I think that and your daily life. Yeah, I mean, well, it does. Is but a what bit do monotonous. they mean by relevant? Well, for example, what? Okay, f uh, current events. Okay, let's. Well, let's choose a current event. Shall we choose something at random? Oh no! Don't stop me off on the Euro. Oh, or there we are. Oh no, not her. No, Cheryl not, no. Fernandez versus Signy slams Nadine no, Cole for lying current. about curls or that. No. That's not current though. That's Which, not current. Is that, that's not Cheryl Cole. No, is that's, it? that's Nadine. But what does she not, do? She was a singer. But that's not current. Current issues are the Eurozone problems, ISIS, uh, things that are in the news. That's what, that's what he means. Current issues, like the, you know, like the failing Euro, Euro, Euro that needs to go. The, those, that awful Nazi Angela Merkel that needs to be Oh, she's removed. not a Nazi. Oh, she you is. can't say that. I can. No, she's not a Nazi. I can. You know why? She's because not a Nazi. she wants the we United don't... States of Europe. Yes. Okay. Now, the Germans didn't win any of the world wars. Now, they're in charge. The Bundesbank is in charge of the Euro. Yes. And the Euro is what they what controls Europe and they want to get into us to take the money away they were trying to get us through the money <coughs> that is a current event then there is the Queen she is current they want to kill her Isis want what? to kill her they've they, there's been a there's been a plot to kill the our Queen oh uh, now our I sovereign. saw here we are in today's daily Express. no we're out of time we should have done this earlier it's only two minutes left now no, uh, well, security tightened for members the Queen is still going to go there of course she is She's because fabulous. She serves her country. She is she fantastic. Serves, we she love serves her the Queen of England. So the, the royal Americans. family. The royal family are amazing. And we are the only country in the world that are, that have th thousands of years of steeped in history. Uh, that is a current event. Oh, fabulous! Oh, I must read that one. Ronnie is a great guest and improves an otherwise boring show. Wonderful. Well, maybe I won't bother thank you, anymore then. Thank you very much, Daniel. You sit up in your ass with your little Apple computer. Your Apple, dear, Apple. Well, it's not little. I mean, the phone's 120. See, here's the difference, you know. Apple, PC. BMW, <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Lonsdale. Lonsdale. <laughs> now, do you... <laughs> Do you understand? Could you imagine? And that's why we could mm. never, ever be back together. Uh, it, uh, oh, oh, we've also decided on frugal... We've got a couple of minutes, that's yeah. it. Um, frugal, just finish off those... Um, no, 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 we'll we'll we can keep one. going, we can keep I've going. Decide, we've decided this year on frugal, frugal Christmas, Christmas presents, presents for each other because, actually, we, have, we do actually have spent quite a lot of money on each we other. We do spend... We are, we, we, are very kind, we are very kind to each Christmas other when we buy stuff. Uh, and, yeah, we are and, very I mean, I remember that beautiful present you bought me back from Dubai. That was so nice, my darling. The key ring. The key ring. But, yeah, but then... But the thing I is, is actually, you are so can hard I give to you buy... your Christmas present early? No. You are so hard to buy for because you don't like aftershave. You don't like nice clothes. You okay. don't like things for the house. Like... He's one of the hardest people to buy Oh, I've got something for. coming for the house. A, 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 got another Tiffany lamp coming. An electric... Oh, it's awful. Electrical, it's awful. Uh, electrical items. You know, I, you know <clears throat> I've spent a, I've quite, a, quite a lot of money on electrical items for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give you... I don't want. I don't want anything. We're going to be frugal. I want you to. Cl frugal doesn't mean nothing. It means something. No, well, I think Christmas. Presents I might ask actually for another butterfly Tiffany lamp. Okay, they're twenty six pound. That's fine. I was uh, frugal to me is for a Christmas present for a person would be seventy five pounds. So yes, okay, that's frugal. Okay, yeah. So, but close your eyes because you can't get any present better. Then something someone's made. So I have your Christmas present. Close your eyes. No, 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 no. We can no, do this I at Christmas. You, no, no, no. Close your eyes. I want you to feel it. Just a minute. Just a minute. I want you to feel this present. Okay? Feel, feel <laughs> it. And guess what it is? Oh, Any no. Any idea? No, not that. No. It no, is a spider awful. plant. These are probably the cheapest, nastiest plants. I grew this myself. Plant, but they're cheap and nasty. But I do easy. not want one of those they're in easy. my house. 
If I could put it through the shredder, I would. I do not want one of those in my house. They are awful. They're not contemporary plants. They won't fit with the decor. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I even had, mark, mark. I even had, I even bought throws that match. Ugh. I even bought throws that match the colour of the cats, didn't I? So it all fitted in. God's it's sake. amazing. Okay, well, let's have a little look here. What's going? <coughs> um, laugh out loud. If if I was gay, I would consider Ronnie. Thank you very much, oh, Daniel. You laugh, uh, you, Daddy. Rory, what would we like? You should, you should bother Chris the snows. Oh yes, uh, the, 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 you should bother Chris the shows. Okay, we we, we can't really right, understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you want? What do I want for Christmas? Yes. What would I? What do I want for Christmas, Rory? Do you know? I honestly don't know. I'm very. I'm. Ve I'm getting lots of good comments today, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'd like some something electrical for my house. I think something something that I could use. Um, I okay. thought about a hive. No, I'm glad you said that. I thought about a hive. What as a but, present? Yeah. That's three, two or three hundred quid. It, there's that, but I also but. We also discussed this, and you said that I wouldn't. It, it, it's just because I have my heating on, so my house is waste a constant. Time. Temp, I don't even waste it would be a time. waste of time and money. That's correct. It's just you want another gadget for I the want house. Another gadget. Yeah. So there is another one which is a little bit cheaper, I, oh. where you can control lights from your mobile phone, so that when I'm out, I can switch lights on for my cats. Oh, what's that then? Um, it's a thing. I, I, I don't. But it, uh, but the problem with that is I don't think they do it in chrome, which would have to be the same color as my my switches. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, so there's that. Um, oh, who's he? Luke? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who he is. He just seems to, seems to be one of my friends. Popped up. Hmm. Friends? No, no, ad friend. Oh. Oh, well, no, it must, oh. have been, it must have been something else. Oh, yeah. We got quite a little bit distracted there, didn't we? Um, I thought Jewish people didn't celebrate Christmas. Oh, no, he no. celebrates anything now, if it gets him a, deep, a little no, present. No, that's right, we don't. We celebrate Hanukkah, which is the festival of light, which is just before Christmas and is celebrated well, over so many then. days. Here you go, then. Have one of these for Christmas, for, for Hanukkah, a light. <laughs> so, I can't read because that's in the way. Uh, but, being the multicultural and nice person that I am... Multicultural, you. I love I love Christmas. I love the, I love the whole... I don't celebrate the, this... this so-called birth of Jesus because in my religion we don't believe that he has come um, I, 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 I'm I, very I'm, I'm, I, yes I'm a Jew but no I don't practice because to me religion is a very spirit is a, it's a more personal spiritual spiritual, thing. spiritual. Um, you know but I don't believe the Messiah has come because I think the world is a very cruel place um, and I don't think that well, it must like, be must be for you to end up with a face like that. How dare you! <laughs> um, we need to go now. No, no we, don't. we don't. It's no. five past one. Oh, another five minutes. Oh, so yeah. So, but I. So what's really nice oh. is when I I have a Christmas tree in my front garden. I cover it with lights and I put big bows on it, and the children walk past and they love it. Christmas they, they on it. BBC One. And they they love it, don't they? Yes, they do. You know, they, they do. do. And I have all lights, and it's just it's a lovely thing to do. It's you know it's just a very nice thing to do. Halloween, what a load of old rubbish that you know, is a load of old rubbish Easter Halloween. great pantomime but you know what happens at the end oh we got um oh 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 it's my brother Danny shout me out what does what's that, that means, shout me out it means give him a shout is that, Hi, Danny. Danny. Is that the one I worked for the other day yeah that's Danny the one you worked Danny for. is in the house Danny on KWT that's my big brother I'm so proud of him he big has brother Danny he has just he has just passed out and done the knowledge and he is my big brother, and I'm unbelievably proud of him. I'm so close with my, my family, my turtle toe sister, and my my brother, um, and the children. I love seeing them. I love going into London and seeing them. Would like to tell us what the knowledge is. The knowledge is when you become a black cab driver. Um, it's not an easy thing. It's very very difficult. It takes years um, and dedication, and uh, it, it, it actually changes your brain. Oh. A, it does. It changes your brain. There, there has been scientific evidence that shows that it, it, it expands the brain. It makes the brain more knowledgeable. Maybe you should have it done then. I don't need to. Because anything I, I, to expand, expand that small I don't brain need to. of yours. I don't dear. need to because I can just get in. I can just. I don't take black cabs or public transport. I get in my own, my own. Oh, what, what's happened car. there? I don't know what has happened. What, what have you done? Oh no, it's, no. I thought for some reason we'd we'd split the screen then. It, you know why? That's because okay. it, looks, it looks very clever. Doesn't oh, yeah, it? look, it's going down there. They're getting bored now. They're getting bored. Oh, are they? So it's time to go, dear. Oh, time to go. Five viewers. No, that's probably it's my fine. brother gone now because he's had his shout out 
Uh, no, well, we stop that, we Daniel. Thank stop you it much, with Daniel. your remarks, dear. Anyway, we must go and have lunch now. Yes. So thank you very much for inviting me onto your show. That's all right. I've had a very nice I'm day. I'm glad you did. Um, Same time next week, then? Um, Maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe I'll get someone else in. You know, Madonna, perhaps Shirley Bassey, Barry Manilow. That'd be quite That's nice. if he's alive. He'll be alive. Don't worry about that. That's all today, boys and girls. Thank you very much. Email address if you want to send in an email. I'll read your email out during the week on our short shows, which you can find at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I'm pointing at it. There, look, United Skype. King oh, that, sorry, that's Skype. You know, no, that's they, Skype. Yeah, but they won't see that on the recording, you see, do oh. Unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is where you'll find the short shows. Click the Union Jack at the top and it'll take you to the page. Chris Reardon. 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 And Reardon. also... <laughs> <laughs> also the email address it would be lovely to hear from you uh, by email chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk have a lovely Saturday bye bye